Don't just read NCERT. Listen it and feel it. Textbook of Chemistry, Class 11th, Chapter 11, The P Block Elements, narrated by Bakar Riaz. The variation in properties of the P block elements due to the influence of D and F electrons in the inner core of the heavier elements makes their chemistry interesting. In P block elements, the last electron enters the outermost P orbital, as we know that. The number of p orbitals is 3 and therefore the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a set of p orbitals is 6. Consequently, there are 6 groups of p block elements in the periodic table numbering from 13 to 18. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and helium had the groups. Their valence shell electronic configuration is NS2 NP1 to 6 except for helium the inner core of the electronic configuration may however differ the difference in inner core of elements greatly influences their physical properties such as atomic and ionic radii ionization enthalpy etc as well as chemical properties consequently a lot of variation in properties of elements in a group of p block is observed The maximum oxidation state shown by a p block element is equal to the total number of valence electrons that is the sum of the s and p electrons clearly the number of possible oxidation states increases towards the right of the periodic table in addition to this so called group oxidation state p block elements may show their oxidation states which normally but not necessarily differ from the total number of valence electrons by unit of 2 The important oxidation states exhibited by p block elements are shown in table 11.1. In boron, carbon and nitrogen families, the group oxidation state is the most stable state for the lighter elements in the group. However, the oxidation state two unit less than the group oxidation state becomes progressively more stable for the heavier elements in each group. The occurrences of oxidation states two unit less than the group oxidation states are sometimes attributed to the inert pair effect the relative stabilities of these two oxidation states that is group oxidation state and two unit less than the group oxidation state may vary from group to group and will be discussed at appropriate places it is interesting to note that the non metals and metalloids exist only in the p block of the periodic table the non metallic character of elements decreases down the group in fact the heaviest element in each p block group is the most metallic in nature this change from non metallic to metallic character brings diversity in the chemistry of these elements depending on the group to which they belong in general non metals have higher ionization enthalpies and higher electronegativities than the metals hence in contrast to metals which readily form cations Non-metals readily form anions. The compounds formed by highly reactive non-metals with highly reactive metals are generally ionic because of large differences in their electronegativities. On the other hand, compounds formed between non-metals themselves are largely covalent in character because of small differences in their electronegativities. The change of non-metallic to metallic character can be best illustrated by the nature of oxides they form. The non-metal oxides are acidic or neutral whereas metal oxides are basic in nature. The first member of P block differs from the remaining members of their corresponding group in two major respects. First is the size and all other properties which depend on size. Thus, the lightest P block elements show the same kind of differences as the lightest S block elements lithium and beryllium. The second important difference which applies only to the p block elements arises from the effect of d orbitals in the valence shell of heavier elements that is starting from the third period onwards and their lack in second period elements the second period elements of p groups starting from boron are restricted to a maximum covalence of 
using 2s and 3 2p orbitals. In contrast, the third period elements of p groups with the electronic configuration 3s2, 3pn have the vacant 3d orbitals lying between the 3p and the 4s levels of energy. Using these d orbitals, the third period elements can expand their covalence above 4. For example, while boron forms only BF4-, aluminium gives AlF6-3- iron. The presence of these d orbitals influences the chemistry of the heavier elements in a number of other ways. The combined effect of size and availability of d orbitals considerably influences the ability of these elements to form pi bonds. The first member of a group differs from the heavier members in its ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds to itself. Example, C double bond C, C triple bond C and N triple bond N and to other second row elements. Example, C double bond O, C double bond N, C triple bond N and N double bond O. This type of pi bonding is not particularly strong for the heavier p block elements. The heavier elements do form pi bonds, but this involves d orbitals that is d pi p pi or d pi d pi. As the d orbitals are of higher energy than the p orbitals, they contribute less to the overall stability of molecules than does p pi p pi bonding of the second row elements. However, the coordination number in a species of heavier elements may be higher than for the first element in the same oxidation state. For example, in plus 5 oxidation state, both nitrogen and phosphorus form oxoanions, NO3- that is 3 coordination with pi bond involving one nitrogen p orbital and PO4-3- that is 4 coordination involving S, P and G orbitals contributing to the pi bond. In this unit, we will study the chemistry of group 13 and 14 elements of the periodic table. Topic 11.1 .1, Group 13 Elements The Boron Family This group elements show a wide variation in properties. Boron is a typical non-metal, aluminium is a metal but shows many chemical similarities to boron and gallium, indium and thallium are almost exclusively metallic in character. Boron is a fairly rare element, mainly occurs as orthoboric acid that is H3BO3, borax, Na2B4O7.10H2O and kernite, Na2B4O7.4H2O. In India, borax occurs in Puga Valley, Ladakh and Sambhar Lake, Rajasthan. The abundance of boron in earth crust is less than 0.0001% by mass. There are two isotopic forms of boron, B10, 19%, and B11, 81%. Aluminium is the most abundant metal and the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust, that is 8.3% by mass, after oxygen, that is 45.5%, and SI, 27.7%. Bauxite, Al2O3.2H2O, and cryolite, Na3ALF6, are the important minerals of aluminium. In India, it is found as mica in Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Odisha, and Jammu. Gallium, indium, and thallium are less abundant elements in nature. The atomic, physical, and chemical properties of these elements are discussed below. Subtopic 11.1.1 .1, Electronic Configuration The outer electronic configuration of these elements is NS2 and P1. A close look at the electronic configuration suggests that while boron and aluminium have noble gas core, gallium and indium have noble gas plus 10 d electrons and thallium has noble gas plus 14 f electrons plus 10 d electrons cores. Thus, the electronic structure of these elements are more complex than for the first two groups of elements discussed in unit 10. This difference in electronic structures affects the other properties and consequently the chemistry of all the elements of this group. Subtopic 11.1.2 Atomic Radii On moving down the group, for each successive member, 
one extra shell of electrons is added and therefore atomic radius is expected to increase. However, a deviation can be seen. Atomic radius of gallium is less than that of aluminium. This can be understood from the variation in the inner core of the electronic configuration. The presence of additional 10D electrons offer only poor screening effect. Unit 2 for the outer electrons from the increased nuclear charge in gallium. Consequently, the atomic radius of gallium, that is 135 picometers, is less than that of aluminium, that is 143 picometers. Subtopic 11.1.3 Ionization Enthalpy The ionization enthalpy values as expected from the general trends do not decrease smoothly down the group. The decrease from B to Al is associated with increase in size. The observed discontinuity in the ionization enthalpy values between aluminium and gallium and between indium and thallium are due to inability of D and F electrons which have low screening effect to compensate the increase in nuclear charge. The order of ionization enthalpies as expected is delta H1 less than delta H2 less than delta H3. The sum of the first three ionization enthalpies for each of the elements is very high. Effect of this will be apparent when you study their chemical properties. Subtopic 11.1.4 Electronegativity Down the group, electronegativity first decreases from B to Al and then increases marginally. This is because of the discrepancies in atomic size of the elements. Subtopic 11.1.5 Physical Properties Boron is non-metallic in nature. It is extremely hard and black-colored solid. It exists in many allotropic forms. Due to very strong crystalline lattice, boron has unusually high melting point. Rest of the members are soft metals with low melting point and high electrical conductivity. It is worthwhile to note that Gallium with unusually low melting point, that is 303 Kelvin, could exist in liquid state during summer. Its high boiling point, 2676 Kelvin, makes it a useful material for measuring high temperatures. Density of the elements increases down the group from boron to thallium. Subtopic 11.1.6 Chemical Properties Oxidation State and Trends in Chemical Reactivity Due to small size of boron, the sum of its first three ionization enthalpies is very high. This prevents it to form plus three ions and forces it to form only covalent compounds. But as we move from B to Al, the sum of the first three ionization enthalpies of aluminium considerably decreases and is therefore able to form Al3 plus ions. In fact, aluminium is a highly electropositive metal, however, down the group, due to poor shielding effect of intervening D and F orbitals, the increased effective nuclear charge holds NS electrons tightly, responsible for the inert pair effect and thereby restricting their participation in bonding. As a result of this, only P orbital electron may be involved in bonding. In fact, in gallium, indium and thallium, both plus 1 and plus 3 oxidation states are observed. The relative stability of plus 1 oxidation state progressively increases for heavier elements, that is aluminium less than gallium, less than indium, less than thallium. In thallium, plus 1 oxidation state is predominant whereas the plus 3 oxidation state is highly oxidizing in character. The compounds in plus 1 oxidation state, as expected from energy considerations, are more ionic than those in plus 3 oxidation states. In trivalent state, the number of electrons around the central atom in a molecule of the compounds of these elements, example boron in BF3, will be only 6. Such electron deficient molecules have tendency to accept a pair of electrons to achieve stable electronic configuration and thus behave as Lewis acids. The tendency to behave as Lewis acid decreases with the increase in size down the group. BCl3 easily accepts a lone pair of electrons from ammonia to form BCl3.NH3. In trivalent state, most of the compounds being covalent, 
are hydrolyzed in water. For example, the trichlorides on hydrolysis in water form tetrahedral MOH4-species. The hybridization state of element M is sp3. Aluminium chloride in acidified aqueous solution forms octahedral iron. In this complex iron, the 3D orbitals of aluminium are involved and the hybridization state of aluminium is sp3d2. First, reactivity towards air. Boron is unreactive in crystalline form. Aluminium forms a very thin oxide layer on the surface which protects the metal from further attack. Amorphous boron and aluminium metal on heating in air form B2O3 and Al2O3 respectively. With dinitrogen at high temperature, they form nitrites. 2E solid plus 3O2 gas gives 2E2O3 solid. 2E plus N2 gives 2En. Here E is equals to element. The nature of these oxides varies down the group. Boron trioxide is acidic and reacts with basic that is metallic oxides forming metal borates. Aluminium and gallium oxides are amphoteric and those of indium and thallium are basic in their properties. Second, reactivity towards acids and alkalis. Boron does not react with acids and alkalis even at moderate temperature, but aluminium dissolves in mineral acids and aqueous alkalis and thus shows amphoteric character. Aluminium dissolves in dilute HCl and liberates dihydrogen. 2 Al solid plus 6 HCl aqueous gives 2 Al3 plus aqueous plus 6 Cl minus aqueous plus 3 H2 gas. However, concentrated nitric acid renders aluminium passive by forming a protective oxide layer on the surface. Aluminium also reacts with aqueous alkali and liberates dihydrogen. 2 Al plus 2 NaOH plus 6 H2O gives 2 Na plus AlOH4 whole minus plus 3 H2. Third, reactivity towards halogens. These elements react with halogens to form trihalides, except TLI3. 2E plus 3X2 gives 2EX3. Here X is equals to fluorine, chlorine, or bromine, or iodine. Topic 11.2 Important Trends and Anomalous Properties of Boron Certain important trends can be observed in the chemical behavior of group 13 elements. The trichlorides, bromides, and iodides of all these elements being covalent in nature are hydrolyzed in water. Species like tetrahedral MOH4 whole minus and octahedral MH2O6 whole 3 plus, except in boron, exist in aqueous medium. The monomeric trihalides, being electron deficient, are strong Lewis acids. Boron trifluoride easily reacts with Lewis bases such as NH3 to complete octate around boron. F BF3 plus NH3 gives it is due to the absence of d orbitals that the maximum covalence of B is 4. Since the d orbitals are available with aluminium and other elements, the maximum covalence can be expected beyond 4. Most of the other metal halides, example AlCl3, are dimerized through halogen bridging, example Al2Cl6. The metal species completes its octet by accepting electrons from halogen in these halogen bridged molecules. Topic 11.3 Some important compounds of boron. Some useful compounds of boron are borax, orthoboric acid, and diborane. We will briefly study their chemistry. Subtopic 11.3.1 Borax It is the most important compound of boron. It is a white crystalline solid of formula. Na2B4O7.10H2O. In fact, it contains the tetranuclear units B4O5OH whole 4 minus 2. And correct formula therefore is Na2 bracket B4O5OH4 bracket close dot 8H2O. Borax dissolves in water to give an alkaline solution. Na2B4O7 plus 7H2O gives 2 NaOH plus 4H3BO3. On heating, borax first loses water molecules 
and swells up. On further heating, it turns into a transparent liquid, which solidifies into glass-like material known as borax bead. Na2B4O7 10H2O on heating gives Na2B4O7 that is sodium metaborate and that on heating gives 2 NaBO2 plus B2O3 that is boric anhydride. The metaborates of many transition metals have characteristic colors and therefore borax bead test can be used to identify them in the laboratory. For example, when borax is heating in Bunsen burner flame with cobalt oxide on a loop of platinum wire, a blue colored COBO2 hole twice bead is formed. Subtopic 11.3.2 Orthoboric Acid Orthoboric acid H3BO3 is a white crystalline solid with soapy touch. It is sparingly soluble in water but highly soluble in hot water. It can be prepared by acidifying an aqueous solution of borax. Na2B4O7 plus 2HCl plus 5H2O gives 2NaCl plus 4B OH hole thrice. It is also formed by the hydrolysis that is reaction with water or dilute acid of most boron compounds that is halides, hydrides, etc. It has a layer structure in which planar BO3 units are joined by hydrogen bonds as shown in figure 11.1. .1. Boric acid is a weak monobasic acid. It is not a protonic acid but acts as a Lewis acid by accepting electrons from a hydroxyl ion. BOH hole thrice plus 2H2O gives BOH4 hole minus plus H3O plus that is hydronium ion. On heating orthoboric acid above 370 Kelvin forms metaboric acid that is HBO2 which on further heating yields boric oxide B2O3. Subtopic 11.3.3 Diborane that is B2H6. The simplest boron hydride known is diborane. It is prepared by treating boron trifluoride with LiAlH4 in diethyl ether. 4BF3 plus 3LiAlH4 gives 2B2H6 plus 3LiF plus 3AlF3. A convenient laboratory method for the preparation of diborane involves the oxidation of sodium borohydride with iodine, that is 2NaBH4 plus I2 gives B2H6 plus 2NaI plus H2. Diborane is produced on an industrial scale by the reaction of BF3 plus sodium hydride. 2BF3 plus 6NaH at 450 Kelvin gives B2H6 plus 6NaF. Diborane is a colorless, highly toxic gas with a boiling point of 180 Kelvin. Diborane catches fire spontaneously upon exposure to air. It burns in oxygen, releasing an enormous amount of energy. B2H6 plus 3O2 gives B2O3 plus 3H2O. Most of the higher boranes are also spontaneously flammable in air. Boranes are readily hydrolyzed by water to give boric acid. B2H6 plus 6H2O gives 2BOH whole thrice plus 6H2. Diborane undergoes cleavage reactions with Lewis bases to give borane adducts, that is BH3.L. Here L is equals to Lewis base. For example, B2H6 plus 2CO gives 2BH3.CO. Reaction of ammonia with diborane gives initially B2H6.2NH3, which is formulated as BH2NH3 whole twice plus BH4 minus. Further heating gives borazine. B3 and 3H6, known as inorganic benzene, in view of its ring structure with alternate BH and NH group. The structure of diborane is shown in figure 11.2a. The four terminal hydrogen atoms and the two boron atoms lie in one plane. Above and below this plane, there are two bridging hydrogen atoms. The four terminal BH bonds are regular two center two electron bonds while the two bridge bonds are different and can be described in terms of three center two electron bonds shown in figure 11.2b. 
boron also forms a series of hydridoborates the most important one is the tetrahedral bh4 minus ion tetrahydridoborates of several metals are known lithium and sodium tetrahydridoborates also known as borohydrides are prepared by the reaction of metal hydrides with b2h6 in diethyl ether 2mh plus b2h6 gives 2m plus bh4 minus here m is equals to li or na both li bh4 and na bh4 are used as reducing agents in organic synthesis they are useful starting materials for preparing other metal borohydrides topic 11.4 uses of boron and aluminium and their compounds boron being extremely hard refractory solid of high melting point low density and very low electrical conductivity finds many applications boron fibers are used in making bulletproof vest and light composite material for aircraft the boron 10 isotope the b10 isotope has high ability to absorb neutrons and therefore metal borides are used in nuclear industry as protective shields and control rods the main industrial application of borax and boric acid is in the manufacture of heat resistant glasses example pyrex glass wool and fiberglass borax is also used as a flux for soldering metals for heat scratch and stain resistant glazed coating to earthen wares and as a constituent of medicinal soaps an aqueous solution of orthoboric acid is generally used as an antiseptic aluminum is a bright silvery white metal with high tensile strength it has a high electrical and thermal conductivity on a weight to weight basis the electrical conductivity of aluminum is twice that of copper aluminum is used extens aluminum is used extensively in industry and everyday life it forms alloys with copper manganese magnesium silicon and zinc aluminum and its alloys can be given shapes of pipes tubes rods wires plates or foils and therefore find uses in packing utensil making construction aeroplane and transportation industry the use of aluminum and its compounds for domestic purposes is now reduced considerably because of their toxic nature topic 11.5 group 14 elements the carbon family carbon silicon germanium tin and lead are the members of group 14 carbon is the 17th most abundant element by mass in the earth's crust it is widely distributed in nature in free as well as in the combined state in elemental state it is available as coal graphite and diamond however in combined state it is present as metal carbonates hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide that is 0.03% in air one can emphatically say that carbon is the most versatile element in the world its combination with other elements such as dihydrogen dioxygen chlorine and sulfur provides an astonishing array of materials ranging from living tissues to drugs and plastics organic chemistry is devoted to carbon containing compounds it is an essential constituent of all living organisms naturally occurring carbon contains two stable isotopes c12 and c13 in addition to these third isotope c14 is also present it is a radioactive isotope with half life 5770 years and used for radiocarbon dating silicon is the second most abundant element on earth's crust and is present in nature in the form of silica and silicates silicon is a very important component of ceramics glass and cement germanium exists only in traces tin occurs mainly as cassiterite sno2 and lead as galena pbs ultra pure form of germanium and silicon are used to make transistors and semiconductor devices the important atomic and physical properties of the group 14 elements along with their electronic configuration are given in table 11.2 some of the atomic physical and chemical properties are discussed below
सब टॉपिक 11.5.1 इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन द वैलेंस शेल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स इज ns2 np2 द इनर कोर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस ग्रुप आल्सो डिफर्स सब टॉपिक 11.5.2 कोवेलेंट रेडियस देयर इज कंसीडरेबल इंक्रीज इन कोवेलेंट रेडियस फ्रॉम c to si thereafter from si to pb a small increase in radius is observed this is due to the presence of completely filled d and f orbitals in heavier members subtopic 11.5.3 ionization enthalpy the first ionization enthalpy of group 14 members is higher than the corresponding members of group 13 the influence of inner core electrons is visible here also in general the ionization enthalpy decreases around the group small decrease in delta h from si to ge to sn and slight increase in delta h from sn to pb is the consequence of poor shielding effect of intervening d and f orbitals and increase in size of the atom subtopic 11.5.4 electronegativity due to small size the elements of this group are slightly more electronegative than group 13 elements the electronegativity values for elements from si to pb are almost the same subtopic 11.5.5 physical properties all group 14 members are solids carbon and silicon are non metals germanium is a metalloid whereas tin and lead are soft metals with low melting points melting points and boiling points of group 14 elements are much higher than those of corresponding elements of group 13 सब टॉपिक 11.5.6 केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स एंड ट्रेंड्स इन केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी द ग्रुप 14 एलिमेंट्स हैव फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन आउटर मोस्ट शेल द कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स एग्जिबिटेड बाय दीज एलिमेंट्स आर प्लस फोर एंड प्लस टू कार्बन आल्सो एग्जिबिट्स नेगेटिव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स सिंस द सम ऑफ द फर्स्ट फोर आयनाइजेशन एंड थेरेपीज इज वेरी हाई Compounds in plus four oxidation state are generally covalent in nature. In heavier members, the tendency to show plus two oxidation state increases in the sequence Ge less than Sn less than Pb. It is due to the inability of Ns2 electrons of valence shell to participate in bonding. The relative stabilities of these two oxidation states vary down the group. Carbon and silicon. mostly show plus 4 oxidation state germanium forms stable compounds in plus 4 state and only few compounds in plus 2 state tin forms compounds in both oxidation states tin in plus 2 state is a reducing agent lead compounds in plus 2 state are stable and in plus 4 state are strong oxidizing agents in tetravalent state the number of electrons around the central atom in a molecule example carbon in ccl4 is 8 being electron precise molecules they are normally not expected to act as electron acceptor or electron donor species although carbon cannot exceed its covalence more than 4 other elements of the group can do so it is because of the presence of d orbital in them due to this their halides undergo hydrolysis and have tendency to form complexes by accepting electron pairs from donor species for example the species like sif6 whole 2 minus gecl6 2 minus snoh6 2 minus exist where the hybridization of central atom is sp3d2 first reactivity towards oxygen all members when heated in oxygen form oxides there are mainly two types of oxides that is monoxide and dioxide of formula mo and mo2 respectively sio only exist at high temperature oxides in higher oxidation states of elements are generally more acidic than those in lower oxidation states the dioxides co2 sio2 and geo2 are acidic whereas sno2 and pbo2 are amphoteric in nature among monoxides co is neutral GeO is distinctly acidic whereas SNO and PbO are amphoteric. Second, reactivity towards water. Carbon 
silicon and germanium are not affected by water. Tin decomposes steam to form dioxide and dihydrogen gas. SN plus 2 H2O on heating gives SNO2 plus 2 H2. Lead is unaffected by water, probably because of a protective oxide film formation. Third, reactivity towards halogen. These elements can form halides of formula MX2 and MX4, where X is equals to F, Cl, Br, or I. Except carbon, all other members react directly with halogen under suitable condition to make halides. Most of the MX4 are covalent in nature. The central metal atom in these halides undergoes sp3 hybridization and the molecule is tetrahedral in shape. Exceptions are SNF4 and PBF4, which are ionic in nature. PBI4 does not exist because PBI bond initially formed during the reaction does not release enough energy to unpair 6s2 electrons and excite one of them to higher orbital to have 4 unpaired electrons around lead atom. Heavier members, that is germanium to lead, are able to make halides of formula MX2. Stability of dihalides increases down the group. Considering the thermal and chemical stability, GEX4 is more stable than GEX2, whereas PBX2 is more than PBX4. Except CCL4, other tetrachlorides are easily hydrolyzed by water because the central atom can accommodate the lone pair of electrons from oxygen atom of water molecule in d orbital. Hydrolysis can be understood by taking the example of SiCl4. It undergoes hydrolysis by initially accepting lone pair of electrons from water molecule in d orbitals of Si finally leading to the formation of SiOH4 as shown below. Topic 11.6 Important Trends and Anomalous Behavior of Carbon Like first member of other groups, carbon also differs from rest of the members of its group. It is due to its smaller size, higher electronegativity, higher ionization enthalpy, and unavailability of d orbitals. In carbon, only s and p orbitals are available for bonding and therefore it can accommodate only four pairs of electrons around it. This would limit the maximum covalence to four, whereas other members can expand their covalence due to the presence of d orbitals. Carbon also has unique ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds with itself and with other atoms of small size and high electronegativity. Few examples of multiple bonding are C double bond C, C triple bond C, C double bond O, C double bond S, and C triple bond N. Heavier elements do not form p pi p pi bonds because their atomic orbitals are too large and diffuse to have effective overlapping. Carbon atoms have the tendency to link with one another through covalent bonds to form chains and rings. This property is called catenation. This is because CC bonds are very strong. Down the group, the size increases and electronegativity decreases, and thereby tendency to show catenation decreases. This can be clearly seen from bond enthalpy's values. The order of catenation is C greater than Si greater than germanium, similar to Sn. Lead does not show catenation. Due to property of catenation and p pi p pi bond formation, Carbon is able to show allotropic forms. Topic 11.7 Allotropes of Carbon Carbon exhibits many allotropic forms. Both crystalline as well as amorphous, diamond and graphite are two well-known crystalline forms of carbon. In 1985, third form of carbon, known as fullerenes, was discovered by H. W. Croto, E. Smalley, and R. F. Curl. For this discovery, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1996. Subtopic 11.7.1 .1, Diamond It has a crystalline lattice. In diamond, each carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization and linked to four other carbon atoms by using hybridized orbitals in tetrahedral fashion. The CC bond length is 154 picometers. The structure extends in space and produces a rigid three-dimensional network of carbon atoms. In this structure, shown in figure 11.3, 
Directional covalent bonds are present throughout the lattice. It is very difficult to break extended covalent bonding and therefore diamond is hardest substance on the earth. It is used as an abrasive for sharpening hard tools in making dyes and in the manufacture of tungsten filaments for electric light bulbs. Subtopic 11.7.2 Graphite Graphite has layered structure shown in figure 11.4. Layers are held by Van der Waals forces and distance between two layers is 340 picometers. Each layer is composed of planar hexagonal rings of carbon atoms. CC bond length within the layer is 141.5 picometers. Each carbon atom in hexagonal ring undergoes sp2 hybridization and makes three sigma bonds with three neighboring carbon atoms. Fourth electron form a pi bond. The electrons are delocalized over the whole sheet. Electrons are mobile and therefore graphite conducts electricity along the sheet. Graphite cleaves easily between the layers and therefore it is very soft and slippery. For this reason, graphite is used as a dry lubricant in machines running at high temperature, where oil cannot be used as a lubricant. Subtopic 11.7.3 Fullerenes Fullerenes are made by the heating of graphite in an electric arc in the presence of inert gases such as helium or argon. The sooty material formed by condensation of vaporized C and small molecules consists of mainly C60 with smaller quantity of C70 and traces of fullerenes consisting of even number of carbon atoms up to 350 or above. Fullerenes are the only pure form of carbon because they have smooth structure without having dangling bonds. Fullerenes are cage-like molecules. C60 molecule has a shape like soccer ball and called Buckminster Fullerene. It contains 26 membered rings and 12 5 membered rings. A 6 membered ring is fused with 6 or 5 membered rings, but a 5 membered ring can only fuse with 6 membered rings. All the carbon atoms are equal and they undergo sp2 hybridization. Each carbon atom forms 3 sigma bonds with other 3 carbon atoms. The remaining electron at each carbon is delocalized in molecular orbitals, which in turn give aromatic character to molecule. This ball-shaped molecule has 60 vertices and each one is occupied by one carbon atom and it contains both single and double bonds with CC distances of 143.5 picometers and 138.3 picometers respectively. Spherical fullerenes are also called buckyballs in short. It is very important to know that graphite is thermodynamically most stable allotrope of carbon and therefore delta HF of graphite is taken as zero. Delta HF values of diamond and fullerene C60 are 1.90 and 38.1 kJ per mole respectively. Other forms of elemental carbon like carbon black, coke and charcoal are all impure forms of graphite or fullerenes. Carbon black is obtained by burning hydrocarbons in a limited supply of air. Charcoal and coke are obtained by heating wood or coal respectively at high temperatures in the absence of air. Subtopic 11.7.4 Uses of Carbon Graphite fibers embedded in plastic material form high strength, lightweight composites. The composites are used in products such as tennis rackets, fishing rods, aircrafts and canals. Being good conductor, graphite is used for electrodes in batteries and industrial electrolysis. Crucibles made from graphite are inert to dilute acids and alkalis. Being highly porous, activated charcoal is used in absorbing poisonous gases, also used in water filters to remove organic contaminators and in air conditioning system to control odor. Carbon black is used as a black pigment in black ink and as filler in automobile tires. Coke is used as a fuel and largely as a reducing agent in metallurgy. Diamond is precious stone and is used in jewelry. It is measured in carats. One carat is equals to 200 milligrams. Topic 11.8 Some important compounds of carbon and silicon. Oxides of carbon 
two important oxides of carbon are carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Subtopic 11.8.1 Carbon Monoxide Direct oxidation of carbon in limited supply of oxygen or air yields carbon monoxide. On small scale, pure CO is prepared by dehydration of formic acid with concentrated H2SO4 at 373 Kelvin. On commercial scale, it is prepared by the passage of steam over hot coke. The mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen thus produced is known as water gas or synthesis gas. When air is used instead of steam, a mixture of CO and N2 is produced, which is called producer gas. Water gas and producer gas are very important industrial fuels. Carbon monoxide in water gas or producer gas can undergo further combustion forming carbon dioxide with liberation of heat. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless and almost water-insoluble gas. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless and almost water-insoluble gas. It is a powerful reducing agent and reduces almost all metal oxides other than those of the alkali and alkaline earth metals, aluminium and a few transition metals. This property of carbon monoxide is used in the extraction of many metals from their oxide ores. In CO molecule, there are 1 sigma and 2 pi bonds between carbon and oxygen. Because of the presence of a lone pair on carbon, CO molecule acts as a donor and reacts with certain metals when heated to form metal carbonyls. The highly poisonous nature of CO arises because of its ability to form a complex with hemoglobin which is about 300 times more stable than the oxygen hemoglobin complex. This prevents hemoglobin in the RBC from carrying oxygen round the body and ultimately resulting in death. Subtopic 11.8.2 Carbon Dioxide It is prepared by complete combustion of carbon and carbon containing fuels in excess of air. C plus O2 gives CO2. CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O. In the laboratory, it is conveniently prepared by the action of dilute HCl on calcium carbonate. On commercial scale, it is obtained by heating limestone. It is a colorless and odorless gas. Its low solubility in water makes it of immense biochemical and geochemical importance. With water, it forms carbonic acid that is H2CO3 which is a weak dibasic acid and dissociates in two steps. H2CO3 plus H2O gives HCO3 minus plus H3O plus. HCO3 minus plus H2O gives CO3 2 minus plus H3O plus. H2CO3 slash HCO3 minus buffer system helps to maintain pH of blood between 7.26 to 7.42. Being acidic in nature, it combines with alkalis to form metal carbonates. Carbon dioxide, which is normally present to the extent of 0.03% by volume in the atmosphere, is removed from it by the process known as photosynthesis. It is the process by which green plants convert atmospheric CO2 into carbohydrates such as glucose. The overall chemical change can be expressed as 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. By this process, plants make food for themselves as well as for animals and human beings. Unlike CO, it is not poisonous but the increase in combustion of fossil fuels and decomposition of limestone for cement manufacture in recent years seem to increase the CO2 content of the atmosphere. This may lead to increase in greenhouse effect and thus raise the temperature of the atmosphere which might have serious consequences. Carbon dioxide can be obtained as solid in the form of dry ice by allowing the liquefied CO2 to expand rapidly. Dry ice is used as a refrigerant for ice cream and frozen food. Gaseous CO2 is extensively used to carbonate soft drinks. Being heavy and non-supporter of combustion, it is used as a fire extinguisher. A substantial amount of CO2 is used to manufacture urea. In CO2 molecule, Carbon atom undergoes sp-hybridization. 
two sp hybridized orbitals of carbon atom overlap with two p orbitals of oxygen atoms to make two sigma bonds while the other two electrons of carbon atom are involved in p pi p pi bonding with oxygen atom this results in its linear shape with both co bonds of equal length that is 115 picometers with no dipole moment the resonance structures are shown below subtopic 11.8.3 silicon dioxide that is SiO2 95% of the earth's crust is made up of silica and silicates silicon dioxide commonly known as silica occurs in several crystallographic forms quartz cristobalite and tridymite are some of the crystalline forms of silica and they are interconvertible at suitable temperature silicon dioxide is a covalent three-dimensional network solid in which each silicon atom is covalently bonded in a tetrahedral manner to four oxygen atoms. Each oxygen atom in turn covalently bonded to another silicon atoms as shown in figure 11.6. Each corner is shared with another tetrahedron. The entire crystal may be considered as giant molecule in which eight membered rings are formed with alternate silicon and oxygen atoms. Silica in its normal form is almost non-reactive because of very high SiO bond enthalpy. It resists the attack by halogens, dihydrogen and most of the acids and metals even at elevated temperatures. However, it is attacked by HF and NaOH. SiO2 plus 2 NaOH gives Na2SiO3 plus H2O. SiO2 plus 4 HF gives Si4 plus 2H2O. Quartz is extensively used as a piezoelectric material. It has made possible to develop extremely accurate clocks, modern radio and television broadcasting and mobile radio communications. Silica gel is used as a drying agent and as a support for chromatographic materials and catalyst. Kieselgur, an amorphous form of silica, is used in filtration plants. Subtopic 11.8.4 Silicons They are a group of organosilicon polymers which have R2SiO as a repeating unit. The starting materials for the manufacture of silicons are alkyl or aryl substituted silicon chlorides R and SiCl 4-N where R is alkyl or aryl group. When methyl chloride reacts with silicon in the presence of copper as a catalyst at a temperature 573 Kelvin, various types of methyl substituted chlorosilane of a formula MeSiCl3, Me2SiCl2, Me3SiCl with small amount of Me4Si with Me4Si are formed. Hydrolysis of dimethyl dichlorosilane that is CS3 whole twice SiCl2 followed by condensation polymerization yields straight chain polymers. The chain length of the polymer can be controlled by adding CS3 whole thrice SiCl which blocks the ends as shown below. Silicons being surrounded by non-planar alkyl groups are water repelling in nature. They have in general high thermal stability, high dielectric strength and resistance to oxidation and chemicals. They have wide applications. They are used as sealant, greases, electrical insulators and for waterproofing of fabrics. Being biocompatible, they are also used in surgical and cosmetic plants. Subtopic 11.8.5 Silicates A large number of silicates, a large number of silicates minerals exist in nature. Some of the examples are feldspar, zeolites, mica and asbestos. The basic structural unit of silicates is SiO4, 4 minus in which silicon atom is bonded to four oxygen atoms in tetrahedron fashion. In silicates, either the discrete unit is present or a number of such units are joined together via corners by sharing one, two, three or four oxygen atoms per silicate units. When silicate units are linked together, they form chain, ring, sheet or three-dimensional structures. Negative charge on silicate structure is neutralized by positively charged metal ions. If all the four corners 
are shared with other tetrahedral units, three-dimensional network is formed. Two important man-made silicates are glass and cement. Subtopic 11.8.6 Zeolites If aluminium atoms replace few silicon atoms in three-dimensional network of silicon dioxide, overall structure known as aluminosilicate acquires a negative charge. Cations such as Na+, K+, or Ca2+, balance the negative charge. Examples are feldspar and zeolites. Zeolites are widely used as a catalyst in petrochemical industries for cracking of hydrocarbons and isomerization. Example ZSM5, a type of zeolite used to convert alcohols directly into gasoline. Hydrated zeolites are used as ion exchangers in softening of hard water. Summary of Chapter 11 The P Block Elements P block of the periodic table is unique in terms of having all types of elements metals, non metals, and metalloids. There are six groups of P block elements in the periodic table, numbering from 13 to 18. Their valence shell electronic configuration is NS2 and P126, except for helium. Differences in the inner core of their electronic configuration greatly influence their physical and chemical properties. As a consequence of this, a lot of variation in properties among these elements is observed. In addition to the group oxidation state, these elements show other oxidation states differing from the total number of valence electrons by unit of 2. While the group oxidation state is the most stable for the lighter elements of the group, lower oxidation states become progressively more stable for the heavier elements. The combined effect of size and availability of d orbitals considerably influences the ability of these elements to form pi bonds. While the lighter elements form p pi p pi bonds, the heavier ones form d pi p pi or d pi d pi bonds. Absence of d orbital in second period elements limits their maximum covalence to 4 while heavier ones can exceed this limit. Boron is a typical non-metal and the other members are metals. The availability of 3 valence electron that is 2s2, 2p1 for covalent bond formation using 4 orbitals 2s, 2px, 2py and 2pz leads to the so-called electron deficiency in boron compounds. This deficiency makes them good electron acceptor and thus boron compounds behave as Lewis acids. Boron forms covalent molecular compounds with dihydrogen as boranes, the simplest of which is diborane B2H6. Diborane contains two bridging hydrogen atoms between two boron atoms. These bridge bonds are considered to be three center two electron bonds. The important compounds of boron with dioxygen are boric acid and borax. Boric acid, that is BOH whole thrice, is a weak monobasic acid. It acts as a Lewis acid by accepting electrons from hydroxyl ion. Borax is a white crystalline solid of formula Na2 bracket B4O5 OH whole 4 bracket close dot 8H2O. The borax bead test gives characteristic colors of transition metals. Aluminium exhibits plus 3 oxidation state. With heavier elements, plus 1 oxidation state gets progressively stabilized on going down the group. This is a consequence of the so-called inert pair effect. Carbon is a typical non-metal forming covalent bonds employing all its four valence electrons that is 2s2, 2p2. It shows the property of catenation that is the ability to form chains or rings. Not only with CC single bonds but also with multiple bonds that is C double bond C or C triple bond C. The tendency to catenation decreases as C greater than SI greater than GE equal to SN greater than PB. Carbon provides one of the best examples of allotropy. Three important allotropes of carbon are diamond, graphite, and fullerenes. The members of the carbon family mainly exhibit plus 4 and plus 2 oxidation states. Compounds in plus 4 oxidation states are generally covalent in nature. The tendency to show plus 2 oxidation state 
increases among heavier elements. Lead in plus 2 state is stable whereas in plus 4 oxidation state it is a strong oxidizing agent. Carbon also exhibits negative oxidation states. It forms two important oxides CO and CO2. Carbon monoxide is a neutral whereas CO2 is acidic in nature. Carbon monoxide having lone pair of electrons on carbon forms metal carbonyls. It is deadly poisonous due to higher stability of its hemoglobin complex as compared to that of oxyhemoglobin complex. Carbon dioxide as such is not toxic. However, increased content of CO2 in atmosphere due to the combustion of fossil fuels and decomposition of limestone is feared to cause increase in greenhouse effect. This in turn raises the temperature of the atmosphere and causes serious complications. Silica, silicates and silicons are important class of compounds and find applications in industry and technology. Thank you.